Hi, I'm Jess Battle with Reed Instruments. I want to show you how to set up your SD series data log meter. We offer 14 units total, but as you can see from these, the body's the same for each. They measure something different, they typically have a different type of probe, but all in all, it's the same meter. So if your unit has a detachable probe such as the SD4214, it's a hot vein anemometer, you want to go ahead and hook up your probe right off the bat. Go ahead and put in an SD card. And we're going to turn the unit on. As I said, we use the same body for all of them. So a couple of the buttons typically are placeholders. Don't worry about that. Everything you need is going to be right here. So the unit's on. We're going to start out by hitting our set button. We're going to hold it down for approximately two seconds until you see the set date. You know you're in your menu. You're going to use a record enter button to start walking you through. So here it's set up for 2012. Let's change it to 2013. Enter button, it's going to take us to the month, it's going to take us to the date. Hit the enter button again, it's going to take us to the hour, the 15th hour, let's make it the 16th hour. Hit the enter button, just 55 minutes, let's make it 45 minutes. And walk back through seconds. Here it's going to ask you if you want to use decimals or commas, in Europe they use commas. Let's keep it on decimals. Power off function that just shuts it off over a certain period of time. Let's turn that off. Enter button again. Do you want to turn that beep noise off or leave it on? It's kind of nice to know you're walking through the menu properly. Hit enter again. This unit takes a thermocouple probe, so it's asking me, do you want to be a type K or a type J? I have a type K probe, so I'm going to keep it on that. Hit the enter button one more time. It's going to ask me if I want to be on Fahrenheit or Celsius. Let's leave it on Fahrenheit. Hit the enter button. It's really important, it's asking your sample rate. Defaults to two seconds, it'll go down to one second, up to 3600, but we're gonna leave it right there on two for a sec. Hit the enter button again, it's asking me, do you wanna format the card? Yes, I do. Scroll to yes, hold down your enter button. Hit it one more time, it's gonna start flashing, and we're done. Just then, we set up our date and time, we set our sample rate, we chose our unit of measure, we formatted our card, we're ready to start taking tests. So like I said, this is an anemometer, measures airflow and temperature at the same time. To start, we're going to hit the record button. You hit it until you see the record come up right here, you know you're ready. As soon as you're ready to start taking tests, hit the logger function. It's taking a reading every two seconds. When you get done, Hit the logger function again, it stops recording. To still have the record function on top, so here you can go right back to taking a test if you need to. But now we're done, we're done for the day, we're ready to download our results. We're going to hold the record button down again for about two seconds until that record bu button goes away right there. Remove the card, put it in your computer, go straight over to Excel, and you're done. If you have any questions, don't be scared of using your manual. Check us out online or call your local distributor.